Hey everyone, Planesman Oz here, and this is a first episode of the Age of Engineering mod pack. Now, I'm doing this sort of as a, I don't know, a, not so much a teaser, but um, I guess a, a, an expressions of interest from you guys. So, as you can see on the left there, we are actually on a server. Now, I'm still, I'm, it's not great connection that I have because of my terrible home internet. Um, it's not amazing. It's it's uh, yeah. Um, I live in the dark ages. I think here in Australia, uh, one day in the next month or so, perhaps maybe a couple of months, they'll be upgrading our area to fiber. But until that happens, I'm still stuck on my terrible DSL connection. Um, but the thing is that this is coming from the Shadow Node network. So you guys have, um, if you've watched in the past, you, the original Die Wolf series that I. Uh, I started playing was on the Shadow Node server, uh, and you can see this is a very, very popular server at the moment. This is literally opened, I think, 24 hours ago. This server, uh, and there's a lot of people playing on there. Um, but you can see my ping's pretty terrible. It's fluctuating around the 300 mark, which is not fantastic for doing any sort of recording. But We'll see how it goes. We'll give it a go, and um, maybe what I'll do with this is it won't be depending on when I can record, because there's obviously there's a few things at play here. One is the number of people in my house using the internet at any given time, uh, and with the terrible uploads and all that sort of jazz that we get here, um, if there's too many people trying to I don't know watch YouTube or or stream TV or something like that, then yeah, we will suffer in terms of lag, like that. Um, but at the moment, this is my little hovel that I've got. So Age of Engineering is seems like a pretty cool little pack. Um, as, as it says in its description, let me just skip over on my other screen here so I can read it. Um, tech only mod pack with guides and trophies. Focus in progression divided into 15 ages so the pack is set up in a way that you everything's gated so you've got ages of technology so to speak um, and you start off in the stone age which is where I am I've got some stone tools which when you join the, the shadow node server they do give you a set of tools and a book and uh, some stakes and a few bits and pieces just to get you started um, you can't make charcoal you can't furnace ingots there's a whole bunch of stuff you can't do when you first start off so it really is a a, a difficult pack it's meant to be hard um the rest of the description this mod pack was five months in the works it's a tech-centered mod pack with a technology tree focus in progression and hundreds of changed in brackets harder recipes this is achieved by gating progression by several blocks and items leading to the next age the pack is divided in 15 ages. Reaching the next age is awarded with an achievement and a trophy you can place. What you can do and have have to do in each age to progress and reach the next age is covered in a guide. Just click on the book in the top left corner. So that's this one up in here in this guide. So if we click on the guide here, we can see there's a few things here from tinkers and all sorts of stuff. But this one here, the Age of, Engin Engin bleh, bleh, age of Engineering book. Um, as you can see at the top there, it's giving a brief introduction. A lot of recipes are changed to give you a more satisfying and longer lasting experience. So as I was saying, this may not be a regular episode or episodic series, but it probably will be a little bit drawn out. Um, what I'm going to try and do is keep my standard schedule as it is. If that's, if you guys enjoy this, like, you know, I want some comments from you guys to say, yes, keep going with this one. I want to see it. Um, what I'm going to do, I'll try and record when I, you know, the best time possible for me in this house, uh, probably when everyone's at school or work or whatever, and, and I'm on a, a late shift or something like that, but I'll give it a go. We'll see how we go. I'll try and get a couple done when things are good so that I can get some, some bits and pieces knocked out. And, uh, maybe I'll just do a little bit of, um, you know, work in between episodes type thing when it's you know when things aren't so good uh, but you can see here to get the stone age you actually have to do is 
to start the Stone Age is mine a piece of stone. Um, you can see on the left there, right over here on the book, these items are the things that are gating that age. So before you can get into the Stone Age, you need a piece of cobblestone. To get into the Industrial Age, we need to make, this looks like a, an IC2 hammer. Uh, calculation Age, this is a, a calculator from the Calculator mod. Um, this is the Empowerer from Actually Editions, I think. Uh, this looks like a thing from Forestry, and then we've got you know, a machine chassis, and that looks like an RF Tools chassis. This looks like, I'm not sure, IC2 of some description. And I'm going to sit up and squeak my chair. Hang on a second. Ah, mute button for the win. Uh, Atomic Age, that's more some more calculator stuff. And this looks like Neotech. We've got a few other bits and pieces. Space Age, this is probably advanced rocketry. Uh, mechanisms up here, uh, Draconic Evolution. And look, Creative Age, that's a, a flight ring. Uh, so obviously, each thing requires you to do particular items. And, and uh, as you read here, first thing you might have noticed is that you can't smelt ores into ingots, as I've said before. You can't smelt wood logs into charcoal. You need to get a Tinker's Construct smeltery and a coke oven for that respectively. So this first little level is, is gated behind Tinker's Construct. Uh, before you go mining though, it's recommended you make a portal to the mining world. So the server does have a mining world set up. Uh, the mining world is linked together. Uh, so it will get reset from what Shadow Kitten tells me. It will get reset probably monthly. Um, but yeah, portal needs to be at least 10 photo frames. It's kind of like another portal. So let's see if we can make this. And I do have some items here if my chest will let me open it uh, i've got some gravel and some sand and some clay so what we might do is i've got a couple of furnaces here and we've got a little bit of coal which i'm going to need to open my chest again and wait four hours for here we go got a little bit cold uh let's make some um some stuff for a tinker smeltery so let's get that's two seconds. I may do two and a half. I really don't know why that did that. That one. Uh, that'll give us three stacks of grout. That should be tons. Let's put these other ones away. Like so. Okay, so let's put a stack in here and then what? eight coal and I'm in a um, as you can see on the, the map up there an extreme hills biome there is a lot of um, there's a lot of coal around but I'm not going to rely on that forever because it probably won't last forever um, I'm stuck in a little hobble on the side of a hill there's probably some creepers around all of those my trusty stone sword here you can see there's a bit of gravel. Oh my lot, there always seems to be a creeper up over the back here. No, don't see one today. Looks like it's afternoon again. Uh, there is a couple of people that live nearby. I um, think there's one living over here and there's another one over here somewhere. Um, I did just do a random TP from spawn and I came across this little area here, which is pretty cool. Got a bit of a forest outside here so we can um, get trees when we need it. Um, as I said, extreme hills, so things are quite um, quite plentiful, I guess. But the ore generation in this pack is completely changed. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of coal around, so if I do need some coal at the start here, I've got it available. Um, I have claimed my area, so my claim is about from here somewhere back that way over the top of the hill, and it goes inside that hill, so I've got this bit of a chunk here. Uh, let's just head back inside and yes there is some copper there. Um, I plan to dig down and, and 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 you know have some rooms underneath here a bit. I kind of want to keep it fairly contained to probably a, a sort of chunk area and I'm, I plan on moving my my base just slightly because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm taking up maybe nine chunks sort of thing. Um, 
when you join, you get one of these gold shovels, which is for claiming. Um, when you vote for the server, you get um, tokens, I think it is, and you can spend those tokens on um, extra blocks so you can claim a bigger area. Uh, and you can also spend them on in-game currency to be able to teleport around. So there's a few things which, when you log in, you'll see it spawn. Um, there are quite a few things to do, and it, mind you, the server is very, very new. The, the Shadow Node network has a lot of servers on it. There are, as, as you can see in the chat down there, you you notice that there's um, there's a Beyond server and there's people talking directly from the Discord. Actually, I think there's two Beyond servers now, or there is has been for a while. Uh, there's a Sky Factory server I know of, and you know, a servers come and go sort of thing. I've, Pretty sure there's still a Fullcraft server, so if you do want to play Fullcraft, you watch my other Fullcraft videos. Um, that server has just been reset recently, um, as of beginning of March. So depending on when this episode goes out, when I can squeeze it into the schedule, um, beginning of March is March 2017 is when it um, when it got reset. So if you want to join up for one of them uh, and play a bit of Fullcraft, then go ahead. Uh, but yeah, so this this shovel tells you how many blocks you got left to claim, and if you right click in your claim, you can actually make it bigger. And you can see there's a gold block out there now, and there'll be some glowstone in the corners, and that shows you where your claim is. Um, if you want to expand it, you right click with the golden shovel on one of the pieces of glowstone, and then move to a new area and right click again, and that will expand out to where you just clicked to. But as it is see how this is going getting through that slowly okay so the it said about making the mining tool and that is from the aroma mining age um so you need the portal frame sorry and then to make that you need this mining tool so the mining tool is fairly simple it's a stone pickaxe stick two cobble and a piece of flint so i do have some flint uh, we'll use this for make a stick I've got a stone pickaxe floating around. Let's grab a couple of bits of cobble. Um, and we'll make, once the table opens, four hours later, we will make a new tool. So oh, that goes there, that goes there, and one, two. Cool. We have a mining multi tool. This does have a durability. Um, but it's it's fairly fairly robust, I'll say. So I'm going to need at least ten of these, and I think I don't know if it. I think it needs to be bricks. So I think I need to actually make stone bricks. Wait. Get get over here. So I need ten. One, two, three, four. You can see the durability is going down. That's ten. Used about fifty percent of the tool. I'll put these stone away um i don't think i can chunk load uh, in in this on the server they don't uh, they've they disabled the ftb chunk loaders uh, and that's really just on um server performance grounds so you can i believe why didn't you have enough coal That doesn't make any sense. Did I misplace that? I might have to go back and look at the, the video later. I think I might have might not have put enough coal in this bottom one originally. We got okay. Anyway, we got a bit just over a stack. All right, let's go and check out this um, this mining age. So I'm going to build him in one of these rooms. I kind of want to put it in this wall over here. I don't believe anything can come through it. And I do apologize if this lags a little bit when I'm building this like that. I kind of want to put this in, in this wall. Come on. Uh, I don't want to change that one. I want to go one more in. So let's take another layer off this wall. So 
I do like the premise of of this of the pack. Um, seems pretty cool to gate things, um, and I may. There was there was a consideration to play this pack uh, as a series after the Futures Edge uh, series finishes up, but uh, we'll see how this goes and see how um, playing on the server turns out for us. Uh, if it doesn't work out, then maybe I'll switch it to a single player uh, pack, but um, let's just see how this goes. Uh, so you can see there, I just right clicked with the uh, the mining tool and it's lit it up green. So that, that's our way to get to the mining age. So instead of having to try and find stuff that quite honestly isn't in the overworld, there is, you know, there is stuff that just does not spawn uh, and it's by design. So just one thing to keep an eye on is if you're looking for a particular ore and you don't find it, then perhaps it was tweaked so that it doesn't spawn in the overworld. Uh, I'll just keep that on me for now. I don't need to take materials new. Um, but we'll go and check out. I'm going to make one more pick. We'll go and check out the mining age. You can probably find my, um, my ping. Oh, my pings are all right. 298. <laughs> It's it's just fluctuating around, fluctuating around there. Um, yeah, let's go check out the mining age. So the way to get into the mining age is um, walk into the portal and sneak, and that will teleport you to the mining age. Whoop, whoop, or it'll kick me right through the other side. Right. So here we have a mining age. There are mobs in this age, um, and there will be other players. So let's just quickly place a uh, up. Geez, a waypoint. Typing's hard, especially when the microphone's in between you and the keyboard. Still haven't got a, a decent place for my my microphone yet. Hey, there's an Enderman. And some bees. I reckon that Enderman could own me if I hit him. I don't, I don't think I want to hit him. Um, so you can see here, this this is a, a typical uh, mining age. Uh, it is eternal day, um, but there are monsters. So if you won't get them on the surface, but if you if you dig down, you will get monsters. Now I don't think the water's. I'm pretty sure it's water. It's not anything other than water, you know, like it's not some sort of weird poison or something, but um, generally all, all you do is just dig down here. Um, one of my other series had this, one of the ones with, with Aussie had this particular mining age. Um, I've gone blank on the name of that series now, which is really terrible, and I do apologise for that. Um, I could probably look it up if I really tried, but um, that would mean closing windows and opening other ones and, and, and general shenanigans in, in terms of finding what I need. Um, but as I said, this is a, a fairly typical you know, overworld type age. Um, and the idea is you know, you'll find whatever you need down here somewhere. I think there's, there's certain ores that that generate in in certain levels and certain areas. Um, let's look here. Open our guide back up. So as it says here, first goal is the Tinker's Construct Smeltery. As usual, you need to go to clay, sand, and gravel to craft grout. Tinker's Construct Tools is recommended for that. As you can't craft a bucket to get lava to fire a smeltery, you can get one-time use clay buckets. So. I will do some mining in between episodes, obviously. This is where I will get down and mine. We can get some leather from some of these uh, poor unfortunate cows in this age. Maybe a little bit of string. Um, but certainly don't go setting up anything amazing in one of these ages. Uh, because if you do get sidetracked and the age gets wiped, it's all gone. 
Um, so yeah, let's just head back to base. There we go. So we're back in our overworld now because, the, as I said before, no chunk loaders. This won't have finished off anything. It will still be chewing its way through. Um, but let's take a quick look. And I am keeping an eye on the time. We've got some wood here. I'm thinking let's make some tinkers um, stuff. So you can see here I have died already. A creeper blew me up. Uh, just up on top of the hill over there. I'd walked out to greet in the morning and got owned by a creeper. Story of my life, really. And I'm glad in, in your um, in your claimed area, the creepers can't kill anything. Nothing will blow up. Uh, okay, so smell tree. You know what we're going to need. We are going to need some glass. Just one. And I kind of want to... You know what? Let's... Um, Let's make a third furnace. Like that. Um, yeah, let's put him here. Just for giggles, uh, you and some tiny coal. So tiny coal's just placing some coal into a crafting table. Uh, that's another, actually, additions thing, I believe. Tiny coal. Here's our glass. So we're going to need a tank. We're going to need, let's go two faucets. And a couple of drains. And then I think the rest can be, can be uh, blocks, can't they? All right, so we will need more. Um, but let's see here. I wouldn't mind making. I kind of want to put this downstairs. Actually, I want the smell tree to be inside the base, and I don't have a spot for it yet. But let's take a chunk of this and let's make some patterns. That is far too many sticks. Uh, 24, that might be alright for the moment. Um, I'm going to need a chest. I'm going to need a crafting table. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, tool station, pattern chest, part builder, and stencil table. Cool. Actually, we should make probably. I really just. I'm just getting too excited. I think I'm just clicking too quickly, and uh, it just doesn't want to keep up. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, one thing I like doing, which is burying this stuff into the floor. And I haven't made the room quite wide enough. I should have gone five. Now. This isn't going to stay up here, so probably, you know what, let's just set it up temporarily. Um, so, we'll do the stencil table first, we'll do in there. Uh, part builder and pattern chest, probably side by side, it's a pattern chest. Yeesh. Part builder. Tool station. And um, there it is. <laughs> I thought it was gone. Uh, we've got everything. Cool. Sensor table. In you go. So I guess one of the things we probably need to make is a pick. Uh, so let's just get a few basic patterns done. Shovel and hatchet and sword blade. Uh, binding. I don't know if I can make this, but I'll make the hammer. You know, it's it's not going to matter if I use up these patterns. Um, what else do we need? Maybe one of these for the sword. Other than that, probably what we need. So let's make um, you in there, and then let's just grab one, two, three of them. 
I reckon. I'm gonna. Oh, do I have cobble? I think I do. I've got cobble. Can I make them out of cobble? Flint may be a better one. Mining level of iron. What is flint? Does flint have a better level? I always forget this sort of stuff because I don't use it. It's really, flint is 150 durability. It's slightly, slightly faster. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with flint axe, flint pickaxe head, flint shovel. Um, for the moment, bindings can just be wood. Um, what else can we do? So if I do a shovel, Oh, really? Type slowly. We got the digger. Um, chopper. And I don't know. Digger, chopper, and we'll call this Bob. Ah, uh, all right. So next thing's next. So we got these nifty little tools, which are pretty terrible as well. But you know, hopefully, it's slightly faster than the the stone stone tools we got. You know, it probably wouldn't hurt to make a sword. I think this was saying that the sword blade's actually pretty, pretty, pretty crud. Uh, attack two point nine. It's actually better for a stone sword blade, which is quite terrible. Let's take that out of there. Let's get another tool rod. And this thing. Can I make it a sticks? Yep. Yeah, cool. So let's make. A basic sword. Right, excellent. So I'll throw this away. This away. Some other junk we've got here. Let's see if these things are done. You're well, always away, isn't it? I was close. I was very, very close. So that should give us a ton more. Oh, you know what we're missing, eh? Stop me if you've seen this before. Whoops. Almost forgot. That could have been a big waste. And you can see here we should have enough for just one more. Really? We should not be burning. Oh, that's nasty. I think, I think it's just my... Um, Oh, maybe it didn't. All right. So I guess next thing um, to do in this case is to set up that smeltery. Um, but I'm running out of time for this episode. So before we go, we will do this. We'll grab a couple of unfired buckets which are fine for use in water, but as soon as you use them for lava, kaput, they burn up. Um, I will need to go to the mining age and get some iron. So that will be the next thing on my list of things to do. And it's night time, so it'd be a good time to go to the mining age. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the, the series. Tell me if you want me to continue doing it. And um, hopefully, by, well, based on your feedback, um we will see how we go again as i said internet for me isn't fantastic things on servers generally aren't amazing um but that being said 
if you are on the server and you want to, I don't know, see something of yourself on the on the videos or something, I mean, some people like to be able to go, hey, hey, look, I was on a YouTube video. That's cool. I've got no problem with that. And for you guys, I will say I'll put a chest outside, outside of my spawn area, or outside of my claimed area, that you guys can put stuff in, messages, whatever. Please keep them clean. I am a PG channel. I do try to uh, make things kid-friendly, so to speak. Um, but yeah, if you want to see stuff up on a, a YouTube video, by all means, leave a note or a written book or something in the chest out the front, and I'll um, check it out during my, uh, my recordings. Um, but in the meantime, thank you all for watching. Please leave those comments below, as I said. And I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.